How you doing, Rim Team? It's Trini Sin. This is you tuning into the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. So, is this I Am Worry Free Challenge helping? Speak up, let your voice be heard. Let me know if this Worry Free Challenge is helping because I ain't lying, y'all. I've been on the same challenge you on, I Am Worry Free, and it's been helping me. Like, I'm so happy right now because I don't have no worries. Y'all heard that little Wayne song? I ain't got no worry. <laughs> But anyway, folks, let's get right down into it. Four secrets to protect your energy vibration. All right, let's get serious here. First thing first, never react negative, folks. I'm going to say this over and over and over and over again because I want to drill it into your mind. Anytime life throws you curveballs, anytime life throws you lemons, make lemonade. Hit home runs by reacting positive. React positive. Nobody can make you react negative. People can try to get under your skin. They can say, they can say things to try to get under your skin, but they can't make you react negative. You know, they might do like they about to hit you or whatever. They, they might talk junk and, you know, get in front of your face and try to taunt you or whatever. But you know what? You'll still be running with the torch if you remain positive. Remain positive. It's all about energy. You know, I always say life is a filling process. It's all about energy and vibrations. In order to attract, in order to get what we want and manifest the things we want and, and be the people that we want to become, you know, we have to maintain the proper levels of energy. Some of the most prosperous people are some of the most happiest people. The first time I ever met like a millionaire, folks, I can remember like yesterday, they was, I was in a room with like three or four or five of them. I remember it was like a studio and I was in a studio with like three, four, five million. And they was just so happy. Like I never known people to just give me so many handshakes for no reason. It was just like, I'm like, I'm like, dang, my hand tired. Y'all happy, man. How, how do y'all get like this? It's all about energy. It's all about how you react to all the negative things that's about to come and face you after this video. Will you act positive or will you act negative? If you act positive, you're, you're standing as a king. You're standing as a queen. And you know what? That, that, I'm not going to let that get to me. That, huh? What? Okay. But I'm not going to waste my energy on responding back to you negatively to make you feel good. Like like what you're saying really matters. I'm a king. I don't really have to say anything. <laughs> oh, y'all want to get me mad. You know, but you know, I'm smiling at y'all because I love y'all. Because y'all know not even what y'all do. You know, I love y'all though. I love y'all. So always make sure you never react negative number two make sure you surround yourself with people who resonate with you now you're gonna find yourself doing this a lot you're gonna have to weed out the people who are not for you and you're gonna have to keep the people who are for you for so long you've probably been hanging around people that don't have your best interests at heart people that don't want to see you do good people that don't want to fan your flames people that don't want you to shine People that don't compliment you. People that don't tell you how gifted you are. People that don't tell you how beautiful you are. Folks, you got to keep yourself away from them people. They got friends that's going to be friends with them. And you need friends that's going to be friends with you in a positive way. Get around people that resonate with you. And they might not come all the time. They like diamonds in the rough, folks. These people are like diamonds in the rough. They are like I am to you. Like I'm a Rim Team member. You're a Rim Team member. Like I'm the person that's talking to you and telling you all the good things about you. I'm a good friend. So keep me around. And so I feel the same way about you, Rim Team members. You tell me all the good things that I'm doing, how I'm helping you. You know what? I'm going to keep you around. I'm going to compliment you. I'm going to talk about you. Speak up, let your voice be heard. You're going to win the challenge. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is how we keep the energy rolling, folks. Thank you so much if you tuned in yesterday. To Super Chat Live Saturdays. Guys, the new time is 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock every Saturday evening, Standard Eastern Time. United States of America, folks, tune in, tune in to Super Chat Live every Saturday. This is the only time we get to talk personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you can write, type me anything that you want to tell me about, and I will answer your questions. So do not forget, folks, 8 o'clock every Saturday. If you want to speak or let your voice be heard, Super Chat Live Saturday, yesterday, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. The number three, the number three secret way on how to protect your energy vibrations is never dwell on negative energy never just sit and dwell on negative things I, I mean i find myself doing it all the time like sometimes i'm just always just thinking about sad things or like 
like my mind will take me in a thought pattern of why wow, something won't work for me or like why wow, something isn't working or you know I would just sit and just think about what people could be thinking about me that's negative like how people see me in this negative light and all oh, this is going on in my mind like this is in my mind it's not really happening you don't know what people are thinking when you're not around but it's like our minds will make us imagine all the negative false beliefs and, and the thoughts about what somebody's thinking about us and they're not even thinking about us isn't that so crazy like our minds are so powerful it will create our own reality for us by creating stories in our mind when things are not even the way they are don't you notice that the mind creates things for us when it's not even happening and we wonder why we can't attract and manifest the things we want into our life because you know what that downtime when you by yourself when you ride in your car, you know, before you go to bed, before you actually get up out of bed in the morning, when you're sitting there just pondering on thoughts, you're imagining all that negative stuff that's not even really real. You get up in the morning and start saying negative things about people that ain't even around you. I mean, you ain't even got around them yet. Oh man, this, the mind is powerful. So folks, it's, it's very important that you make sure that you never dwell on negative things. Anytime you catch yourself dwelling on negative thoughts or you thinking negative thoughts about people, creating negative thought patterns in your head about something that ain't even going on, immediately change it, folks. This will help you on your journey and, and make you a much more powerful person and you begin to create the things that you really want for yourself. This is where the manifestation law of attraction starts to activate itself when you become aware of the fact that you're always thinking up stuff in your head that's not even going on. So make sure you fill that that time up with moments and thoughts of, of happiness, good things, good things. If you want to think about somebody that ain't even around you, think about something positive that they might, that they might be thinking about you. You know, if you want to think about people that don't like you, think about all the great things that they might think about you versus all the negative things that you're thinking they might be thinking about you and it's not even true. It's the mind, folks. All right, and last but not least, the fourth way is find something that you love to do do what it is that you love to do i see this in a lot of people's lives the reason why most people are not really happy with their life it ain't because they don't have no money it ain't because they don't got no girlfriend it ain't because they ain't got nowhere to stay it ain't because they can't get what they want or go where they want or become who they want it's because they don't do what they love to do so long man for so long i was always finding myself doing things that i didn't even really like to do but i was just doing it for a paycheck you know i was just doing it to make other people happy because other people wanted me to do it the whole time i didn't even really want to do it until i became aware of myself when i, and I, I read information and i saw videos and gave me confirmations on the truth about reality and how i should be living my life and that's when i began to change that's when i began to say you know what i like to do this this is what I want to do and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it and I ain't gonna worry about what nobody else think about me you know for so long man I used to always worry about what people think about me like you know I went through that for so long like high in my true self like high in who I was feeling like I couldn't say what I wanted to say because what people would think I can't write what I want to write because what they would think now I'm just not even there no more you know, you gotta come out of that stage of thinking. That's that fearful stage of thinking. It's an illusion. It's not really real. It's fear. You know, false evidence appearing real. It's not really real. Once again, it's something in your mind that you're thinking that other people are thinking is not even true. So you gotta always make sure you do what you love to do. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope this message resonated with you. Don't worry, don't worry. The sex videos are coming up for those of you who are in Super Chat Live yesterday and we're talking about you know we need to make more videos about sex and all this and celibacy and all this and being a virgin and stuff like that and guys look we're gonna talk about some real stuff some real topics very soon in the meantime speak up let your voice be heard stay tuned folks another video is gonna be coming out in a second here in the meantime i'll see you in the next video peace